Well, you know what? Since that wraps up Toys With Your Boys, a.k.a. Golden Snags, y'all know what time it is. We've been on this for weeks. Weeks. It is about time, about t -t 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 time to discuss the newest episode of X-Men 97. Um, okay, okay, okay. What are, what episode, yeah, X-Men 97, episode three. So... But before we get into that, last episode we kind of talked, we kind of kind of rushed the the episode two a little bit. Um, but after Storm loses her powers, um, they all kind of get have a meeting into the inside the you know inside the facility, and they're kind of just like, man, what's going on? Da da da. da. Like they're kind of they're kind of having like a conversation or whatever. Um, and then they get a knock on the door because Morph's like, I'm sure Storm will be back. He should. Oh look, there's Storm right now. Then he opens the door, and yeah. it's Jean Grey, and she's all beat up. And as as whenever like in the shot, Jean Grey is had a kid with Scott. Yeah. Yes. Um. And so then she comes in. Everybody's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. yeah. And that was, and that that was that the was cliffhanger. At episode two. Yeah. Yeah. And episode um, three picks up right at that moment. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like yes. literally right there. Yeah. Um, Jean scans her mind, the 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 gene that has given birth with uh, Scott. Um, it scans this this gene that just showed up, and is trying to figure out who this is or or what she knows. And then towards the end, we see like a very quick glimpse of like this sinister smile, mm -hmm. Mister Sinister Smile, and we hear him kind of. <laughs> At the yeah. end of it, um, and then <laughs> Beast runs some more tests on this uh, gene that just showed up, and deciphers that the the gene that just showed up is actually the real Gene Gray. Yeah. And the gene that we've been chilling with is a clone. Oh, okay, so Fuck how you, long? Or Cyclops, dude. He gets put through the mental ringer, dude. Okay, how? He gets put through the fucking shit. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah okay, he really does. But how right long? Now, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How long have we have we been seeing this fake gene? So shit, dude, I'm sure we'll find out. Up, the way this like all came together, it looks like since the Phoenix Saga of uh mm. the original show which would have been like what season three was that season three i think so, so that means the last two seasons of the original x-men show and the first two episodes was all clone gene gray no oh. way bro um mind-blowing yes yeah, so once once they realize this or, or once b says this uh Clone the clone gene like refuses more tests. She's very upset. Is like, oh no, you guys know me. Uh, Things get weird. She yeah. gets really weird. Yeah. Um. She's like, Storm. Storm would have believed me. And Storm's out. Um. And then, clone gene goes to like chill with her baby, and they're like chilling or whatever. And then she starts to hear a voice over the baby monitor, and it we. We get the sense of who it is. It's Mr. Sinister, and he's like, I have answers. And uh, he kind of shows up and basically reveals to, to Jean that he created her so that she would have this child with Scott. And after that, he starts to fully take over Jean, Jean Grey's mind, or this clone Jean. Uh, he starts to take over her mind. It's like I, you know, I made you for me, and she has like the same, like red ruby in her head, that mm -hmm. uh, that he same has. Same, yeah. Um, and we cut away. We go. We go back to the regular X Men. Um, what's his name? Morph starts to tease. Uh, starts to tease a uh, Gambit a little bit about the relationship going down Bro. with uh, and uh, Magneto. Bro. Morph just dickhead. being a dickhead again, bro. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck him, bro. He, he, dude, he's such a bitch, bro. Dude, like, go. And then, and then, 
so then so yeah i hate i hated the part where it was like like mr sinister um so like i guess the after that like mr sinister starts like or later we find out it's like yeah the, the clone is like they're she's doing like they're doing all this like um fear fear like yeah she's messing fear with the minds shit. she's yeah. messing with the minds and they're seeing all this shit um <laughs> one of the funniest lines a uh, beast when he comes up the elevator or maybe he was going down and the elevator opens and there's just like this weird face with like a crazy tongue <laughs> yeah it's like i think one of us have the wrong floor i thought that was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, out. fucking beast bro but yeah this clone gene starts to make everybody think or see all these crazy scary things and uh, gambit sees like this weird like put together squished together magneto and rogue and yeah i was so was butthurt freaky. i was so butthurt i was like gambit no, and apparently I'm that sorry. shot is from like a comic book a comic actually a strip from the comics like that yeah. shot of them in like those little like like vines. revealing clothing that, yeah. like, they're, like they're revealing clothing and stuff with the vines and shit yeah that's from like a comic book strip okay i can see that i yeah. can see that yeah okay but then like they turn into this little monster thing yeah it's like Ugh. I forget who it was that was uh, who was seeing this part, but who was seeing like the demented like Professor X? Was that Cyclops? I think it was Cyclops. Yeah, it was Cyclops. Yeah, this like demented Professor X is scaring uh, Cyclops and saying like, "Oh, you can't even protect your kid." How yeah, are you yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, it was Cyclops. Cyclops, yeah. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty scary. Um, seeing professor X then, Jen, like then jubilee and robert DeCosta were like watching a movie yeah and then, like it's kind of like a kind of like a ring moment where like they just come out of the tv and shit yeah and it's like what i think it's like his mom or something yeah it's his mom yeah mm-hmm. like you're, you're an ugly villain <laughs> yeah kind of the weakest uh, one kind of the weakest yeah one. Yeah, Jubilee, Jubilee just starts throwing fireworks at the TV. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then what if she? What if she? What if she says? What if she would like say? What if she does a fire? She's like, take this bottle rocket. <laughs> or, like, or, like, or she? Or she say, uh, Roman what it, candle. That's what it sounds like too. Like he. Uh, <clears throat> or sparkler. Sparkler. <laughs> Oh my gosh! But then that kind of just devolves into a whole big fight between the whole all the X Men, mm-hmm. and they're kind of in this like hellish dimension uh, situation. All these crazy mm-hmm. monsters are flying around attacking them, and I think that fight was super fire. Um, yeah, the the little like combined uh, move that um, yeah, Cyclops, Cyclops and dude, that was so hard. Bishop's just like mowing down all these damn monsters so hard yeah because he was so like he hard. was like hit me in this freaking like purple just uh, dude, it was so hard bro i thought it was yeah, so, no, that was, that was, oh, that was so tough um and then magneto and um or well that's later on sorry 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 that's later on sorry, sorry, sorry. i was about to i was about to skip but then the real gene kind of senses that something's going on and she comes in to help and is like, that, that's enough. And she starts uh, like fighting mentally with this clone gene. Um, and after all that, after she kind of beats her a little bit, uh, clone gene reveals her new name, the Goblin Queen. Yeah. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if that's a comic book. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, sure either. It probably I'm is. Sure it is. Yeah. I'm sure it is comic book accurate, um, but I've I've never read that story. Um, but she leaves, and the X Men go into like this little bunker downstairs or something um, is what it looked like, and and they're just kind of planning, um, and they go to to find Mister Sinister. Sheesh. What? Goblin Queen, Goblin Queen, bruh. What what? Um, that comics that comics fit is crazy oh okay okay. <laughs> Sheesh. okay 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 usually is usually is yeah <laughs> uh, but then after that they all after they kind of meet up and plan and they're they're kind of like uh what's it called uh, recouping after this whole fight cyclops is obviously like 
just devastated. Right. Uh, honestly, hey, I will say, I'm really enjoying Cyclops' yeah, character. I am too. I am too. I already like staked myself as a Cyclops hater. Um, in the yeah, bro, you put too much negative energy on Cyclops, man. Leave that guy alone, bro. I'm, re- I'm really liking what they're what they're giving him uh, this season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do too. Man, man, uh, I'm I'm really enjoying it. But then anyway, they go they go to fight Mister Sinister and this clone Gene, um, and the Goblin Queen shows the ability that she's able to like just fully take over somebody's mind she takes over um Morph. what's his name Morph's mind that was um, pretty wild she, no. she, she can keep his mind honestly in my opinion <laughs> um, i just like then, i just like his power honestly i mean it's just yeah no it, it is a tough power it is yeah a tough power. yeah it's a tough power. um and then magneto and uh, the goblin queen fight and i think that was really tough like yeah. Magneto's taking all the metal and shooting that at her, and then she's like, "Oh, all you can do is metal. I can touch all this," and starts yeah. shooting glass at him, and it's like cutting him up and stuff. Even though he's shielding, yeah, uh, insane, was, yeah, that pretty was good fight. Better, yeah. I thought their fight was definitely fire. Um, and then we kind of cut back to the uh, facility, and why is Wolverine on the on the sidelines so much? Uh, the beginning of this season. Cause he is chilling back with uh with the real Jean and kind of just caring for her and help helping her like get out of this because she's she's struggling with understanding what to do with her powers and it's really yeah. hurting her um and he he just kind of is like look look into my mind see how much i care for you type of thing to kind of yeah. calm her down and she's like wow you care for me for me that much so i wonder if this is about to be a situation where Cyclops is like, "Oh, Jean, you've returned. I'm so hyped that you're that you're here," and she's like, "Ah, oh, I'm kind of into Wolverine." Now. I dude, I thought about that too, dude. I, I thought kind of about maybe, that too. And maybe because at the end, I mean, I don't want to jump ahead, but there's no. just there is this we, there is going to be this weird dynamic with Jean. But let's not act. Let's not act like I don't know. But you know what? Uh, how long like we are we already talked about discussed how long that she's been a clone so maybe maybe it was the clone that he you know started getting closer to and married and married yeah like whenever they're on that honeymoon yeah no that's all the clone we're pretty sure yeah that is insane so how they did that that's what Fuck, man the next natural step if they're going to continue with this drama is to make her into wolverine and uh but the kid and, though that's the thing and she rem- so, yeah. and does, we'll does it, to, yeah. doesn't she yeah, remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. We'll get to the kid for sure. Um, but after that, she kind of she kind of like goes to see what what's happening over um in the fight and she sees that the the goblin queen is fighting Cyclops and kind of kicking his ass. Um so she starts to fight her mentally again, which I thought was amazing. Yeah. This one was a lot bigger and like we we see all kinds of stuff. At I thought it was point, so good. Yeah. At one point, we see like this flashback of Professor X um, going to going to meet her for the first time in her home with her parents. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a cool scene. Right. That was that was definitely the original Professor X voice actor, right? It sounded like him. It sounded like it. It definitely it did sound like it. I think so. I don't know. Okay, okay. I, I need to look up the... I still haven't done that. I need to look up the voice acting cast and see who all actually uh, moved over. Um, but she she shows uh, this flashback and kind of just helps break this connection that Mr. Sinister has with uh, the Goblin Queen. And she's, she's ready to help. Um, and we go to see that... Uh, we we go in to see what Mr. Sinister is up to, kinda, and we see that he's like put this child that uh, she brought him, this child in like this tank, this green tank of like moving fluids, and he, he yeah. says it's it's to make Nathan invincible, to make him indestructible. Right. Uh, but after after they get the Goblin Queen kind of back to normal and she's not controlled anymore, and they go up there. Cyclops just busts the baby out of the container, like, no questions asked. Um, and I guess I can't blame him, but 
get my baby out of there get my baby out of there what are you doing and then uh they kind of make quick work of mr sinister like yeah it, that was kind of like they make quick work of him um, but, but, but it was they do have mr sinister always always end up, ends up being sticking around like he's literally gotten obliterated yeah yeah and he's no, sure. back, so he'll be back he'll yeah. be back for sure but then they they like check on nathan little baby nathan and Nathan appears like super, super sick. And he's got these green like vein things, almost Iron Man esque. Um, well, it's and- similar to the virus that was in that future in the in the X Men animated series. Yeah, like it was similar to that virus. The, the yeah, phalanx? not 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 the phalanx, not the phalanx. What? Not the phalanx. But whenever and whenever you had the uh, whenever you had uh, Cable come in, and it was because of they 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 sparked people with that uh, mutant drug. That would only kill mutants. So it, they had the same that had that same design and effect, but it was just green. Oh, but like okay. in the X Men anime yeah. series, it was purple. Like people were starting turning purple and getting like that same type of virus thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe because 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 this is why they te- they said this is why and this is like kind of I know Chandler's gonna bring this up. This is why they send Bishop. This is why they they write it into into the story where they, Bishop goes because people in Bishop's timeline have dealt with that type same type of virus. That kills mutants. Yeah, and they have the technology to help the baby. Right. Um. So yeah, getting into that, they kind of realize well, after they take the baby back, they they realize like we're not going to be able to cure this baby. And I thought they were about to just kill off this baby, <laughs> Loki, for a second. I was like, Bro. damn, are they really about to kill off this baby in the show? Um. But they they I forgot that Bishop was there, and in in the episode, forgot to bring this up in the episode early on. We kind of hear Bishop say something about wanting to go back and why right. he hasn't been able to go back. Um, yeah, because they were building his his band that allows him to travel. Right. Um, so they kind of realize that the only opportunity to to heal this baby is to get Bishop to take it with him in the future, where they have hopefully, you know, updated technology. They've dealt with this before, and he says that there's somebody there that's extremely smart. And will uh, will help with the with the baby. Um, and so Cyclops he, seems very against this. Yeah, he was not happy. Yeah, he yeah. was like, I don't want the baby to be abandoned, and da da da. But I mean, it, there there really was no choice. Yeah. Um, so Bishop takes the child, um, and I kind of got like a reluctant feeling from Bishop. Uh, it, it, just in the animation, the way they animated his face when he takes the child, like it doesn't look like he's like ready to ready. help. Yeah. Um, and then after that, we see Clone Jean is she's leaving. She's walking down the street away from the uh, X Mansion, and real Jean goes to like talk to her and is like, "You can stay with us. Like you have a home here, just because you're not actually Jean Grey." Like doesn't matter you can still stay with us and she's kind of like no um you've seen my memories you've seen what i want i want a life away from this i've been trying to get away from this um so she says she's going she's going off to start a new life as madeline Pryor. yep um and she she takes off and then another big cliffhanger to end off the episode we go to see where storm's at in the yeah. story and she, she's just chilling in this bar and forge who we haven't seen since yeah uh, a minute season, right. um, forge comes and offers help to to get her powers back and it's like we, we were like can, we can get this figured out yeah Boom, we're back baby yeah. let's go oh yeah um, so hopefully back. yeah hopefully Banger. we can get that yeah i'm yeah i thought it was a great i thought it was a great episode yeah, it was great. I'm yeah, excited for episode three or episode four, but dude, hey, they're pump, they're pumping, it's they're pumping out some good stuff. I really like where this is going. Yeah. Um, keeps me, it's keeping me intrigued. So yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Again, I mean the animation, dude. The animation, like just being able to see, like I'm probably gonna say it every time we talk about this this show, but just every every step of the way, like. We were kind of doubting this animation. Yeah, we were. Yeah, definitely. And they they really went all out. Like I love the fighting in this show. Oh I love, my gosh! Yeah. 
I love the way they let these characters just kind of go ballistic. Way, yeah. way, way more crazy than we ever got to see in, in the older show. And obviously, yeah. there's a lot of limitations. Right, for obviously. That show yeah. So it is just such a such a crazy fire thing to see um to see them moving in this crisp animation and really doing everything right man doing everything right i feel like um i feel like this is will definitely the this is is getting some good feedback from a lot of people so we'll definitely be seeing some good good push from you know this definitely will be a pioneer for the marvel animation universe like we'll definitely Right. We'll definitely look back on this show and be like, yo, this show really pushed us to get what we're going to get in the future. So, yeah, honestly, yeah, definitely the way definitely it's, liking where this is going. Right. Yeah. Honestly, the way um, it's looking right now, I would really want a second season. But I mean, we'll see how it goes yeah. and how it ends. Yeah, I hope, that, I hope they make more seasons. I hope they make more seasons. Um, and I hope that this kind of does spark the spider-man resurrection the iron man resurrection like we can we can do them all if we want to yeah. hey we can, do, wait, we can do some move do a couple movies animated movies in there Dude. you know oh my gosh Please. dc does all dc okay and this is the funny thing dc's animated movies have been on a decline mm. like they you haven't even really seen no crazy animation styles for the dc dc like animated universe because it's just like I've watched a couple of recent DC movies or DC animated movies. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. When you watch an animated movie, it has to have eye-catching animation. It just can't be no bland shit no more. Right. Like it has to be like as like as viewers, we're kind of growing for more technology, and our eyes are adjusting to crazier animation styles. So we need that animation style to keep us invested and also have that good story. Right. So yeah. therefore, you know. I think this Marvel animated, I think the Marvel animation studios are going to really be on that, that side of production. Right. I think from, so what, from what we've seen from X-Men 97, like this is a good, like this is such a good start. Like this is where I was hoping that we would be back at as well for like, especially for animation. Yeah. You know, for production, production wise, I, I think it, it's still, it's still, you know, I it's still got a lot to prove. But like this is this is not this is this does nothing doesn't put on a decline it puts it on an incline for like you know viewership ratings and you know if Marvel if Marvel's back now we we just got to bring back that live action feeling we got to bring back that live action feel yeah um but we uh so on the new we missed the, we missed this uh they just they announced the name for Thunderbolts actually it's like Thunderbolts with like an asterisk uh -huh. at the end so there's that. So I know they're in they're, they're, they're in works for the Thunderbolts. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I'm I'm glad so, you brought up the the DCAU because the DC animated universe has always been like one of the strongest things that DC had. You're right. Yeah, um, they they've had some crazy animation and like you said, bro, the last like I couldn't even tell you how many movies have just been such bland, simple, plain animation. Yeah. And honestly, like nothing stories, like just stories. I don't honestly, I, a little bit, a little bit stories. Some of the stories were good, but animation wise, just, um, I'd say, let me look, let me look at the other movies yeah, that something I, that I was, was watching. Something DCAU did. I was extremely hyped for was the injustice movie and people mm -hmm. hated that. And I think rightfully yeah. so, um, the animation in that was I didn't see it. Bullshit. And I think this, this X Men '97 show, man, I think it's really showing what you can do with a simplistic style because mm -hmm. the, the character models are simplistic, the 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 environments aren't like insane. But once we get to the action packed moments, or once we it's, get yeah, to so good. the stuff where they really need to, or or where they are able to flex their animation, mm -hmm. they don't hesitate, and right. it's right there. It's in your face. There's all mm -hmm. this different stuff happening. Um, so yeah, no, I, I like that you brought that up because, um, a movie, it's always, it's always a Marvel versus DC thing. Yeah, like, it, it is always a Marvel versus DC thing, which it, which it sucks. Cause we, 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 but we, we all love both. And, um, right. but yeah, I mean, Hey, I'm liking where this X-Men 97 is going guys. Hey, ASG, yeah. 
drop in the comments. Tell us what you're thinking about how you guys are liking X Men '97. Um, if you guys think it's a banger or whatever, anything else you guys want to go off, just lot, leave it in the comments. And um, but uh, yeah, I think yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say deuces and peace. <laughs>